I'm Whimsical Fluid Artist Mishka. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will teach you an easy way to create archival blooms without any expensive, highly toxic, or hard to get products using only artist grade materials. The products I'm using are Triart Mars Black, that I mixed approximately one to one with Golden's High Solid Gel Gloss. There's other things you can use. You don't have to use that. You can use the golden regular gel gloss. Or you could use the gloss heavy gel by Liquitex. Or you could thicken it up with Liquitex Liquid Thick or a variety of other things. Atelier and Triart both make a good gel gloss. And then I thinned it with Atelier Pouring Medium. until it reached the consistency where the mound holds up for about two seconds before sinking. Let's see if I can show you this. So yes, two seconds. And then next up, I have an interference pigment by TLP, this little piggy. And this is Twinkle, which is an interference blue-violet color. And I dispersed that in a tiny bit of this Tri Art Gloss Polymer. And that made it into a paint. And then I added some of my high solid gloss gel, about one to one. And I mixed it really well and then thinned it with some of the Atelier Pouring Medium. And that's a really nice pouring medium. It dries to a glossy finish. And I just want to mention that when working with pigments, you should always wear personal protective equipment. You don't want to be breathing in those mica powders. And also I like to use that polymer because it has some binding properties. And then for my cell activator, I used Triart Titanium White. And I mixed that with a little small scoop of Liquitex String Gel. Now you don't have to use that, but I like to use that. Some people like to use glue. And then I thinned it with some pure H2O plus studio water by Triart. I use that in all of my fluid art. And 
for the consistency of my cell activator. It drips for five seconds before springing back to my stick. Springing back, bouncing back, whatever you like to call it. And what else can I tell you? The cell activator, it leaves a small trail, a small trace. And I will be painting on this six inch glazed ceramic tile. And I prepped that with Liquitex glass medium so that the paint will actually adhere to the tile. And you have to bake it in the oven. The directions are on the bottle. So for blooms, I skip the pillow. I find it's not necessary and it's easier because you don't have to worry about blowing into your pillow or about your pillow being the right consistency or about having too much paint left on your surface. And I just wanted to mention that you can purchase TriArt, TLP, This Little Piggy, and Atelier products and lots of other great stuff from Fluid Art Co. And my mini blower and its attachments and much more can be purchased from Tracy Reed Designs Etsy shop at acrylicpouringtools.com. So let's get started here. There's a lot of bubbles in here. Let's see if I can pop some of them. Okay. This pigment is so beautiful. If my hands aren't too messy, I'll show you the one that I did yesterday. You want to blow the cell activator so that it's just kind of skimming the surface and if you're doing it by mouth you would tilt your ear towards the paint and blow it over top of your colors so let's give it a blow out
Okay, I'll just let that come in for a minute. See if I can break this up a little bit. Okay, let's give that a spin. Okay, that looks really cool. I'll give you a close up. Now I'll take my gloves off so I can go get my other one and try and show you the color shifting. Goes from blue to violet, it's really pretty. Please leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to follow me for some more tutorials and new techniques, some twists on some existing techniques, and some color inspiration videos. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.